when I conducted interviews at Facebook. No matter, I would see engineers, really smart engineers, struggle with some of these things during their system design interview. The concepts that I'm about to discuss today are even more important in today's environment because in these days, System design interviews are rewarded for framing your decisions first and diagramming second. So I'm going to give you three tips to be really successful in your system design interviews in 2025. The first one, when you get a question, first figure out the non-negotiables. What are non-negotiables? The constraints, the limitations that the system has to definitely adhere to become a successful system. For example, if you're building Netflix or Spotify and someone clicks on the play button, the movie or the song should start playing in 200 milliseconds. That's a non-negotiable. In the back end, Netflix takes four hours to upload a movie and Spotify takes, I don't know, 10 hours to upload a single song. It doesn't matter. That's not what your users is going to evaluate you on. So figure out the non-negotiables first. Second, build out the overall architecture, the 5,000 feet overview before you dive deep into any one of the components. I'd see it so many times. People love one or two components of it. Sometimes it's MapReduce, sometimes it's storage, sometimes it's search, whatever you're comfortable with. And people dive right into it without telling the interviewer what the overall architecture is. And that is the super important part because once you have identified all of the components and you have given me the idea of how all of these components are going to interact together, now I am ready in, to learn more about your specific skills and your deep dives into one or two of those components. And that's it. We don't have a million hours. We only have 45 minutes in that interview. And thirdly, talk about the trade-offs, the choices that you're making, but more importantly, why are you making those choices? Because if you're making a choice and you're not vocalizing what were the other ideas that you had and you rejected them and you connect them back to the non-negotiables that you figured out at the beginning, that is where you become a level four engineer versus level six engineer. Because then you can tell the interviewer about, hey, I have all of these options available, but based on the constraints that you've given me, I think the best trade-off is this option versus all of the other options. And that's it. These are my top three tips for being very successful in system design interviews in 2025.